Hey everyone, welcome to the next Easy Excel tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. This is tutorial number three in the Simple Charts series in Easy Excel. Uh, today I'm going to show you some basic uh, design changes that you can make to your uh, Excel chart. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll cover some more advanced tricks that you can use uh, to make your chart look even better, even more professional, more presentable. Uh, so what we have here is just a basic clustered column chart. Uh, if you want to learn how to create uh, charts, just feel free to watch my simple charts tutorial, uh, the first one in this series. Um, uh, but anyway, so all I did is select the data. I have the shortcuts here. You can use these as well. So uh, once you select the data, you will have two new chart tools tabs in the ribbon. Uh, they're called design and format. Uh, I'm going to go mostly over design right now. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is the switch row and column. Uh, in the past, if you wanted to switch uh, row and column data, in this case, which is uh, the months and the departments, in the past, you'd have to pretty much do it all over again. You'd have to select the data. You can do that here as well. And you can move it around. But now, Excel 2013 makes this pretty easy. This was actually available in the past two uh, versions of Microsoft Office as well. So if you click on switch row column, as you can see, it switched it switch the departments along with the months. So switch so row and column. You can do this as much as you'd like. Easy, right? You can also click on select data and move it manually. You can also check and uncheck, which is pretty much filtering. Uh, I'm not going to leave it that way. Uh, the next thing you can do is you can actually change the chart type. Uh, two ways you can do this. You can uh, right click and you have the option here to change chart type where you get a little pop-up of all the different chart options that you have. The other option is also in the ribbon design tab where you have change chart type. It gives you the exact same pop-up, the change chart type pop-up. You can use the recommended charts tab or you can go through the different ones and see which one will look good. Maybe a line graph, right? Uh, the next option here, at the very right, we have move chart. Let's say you created a chart in the same a worksheet as simple charts like I have and you want it to go to uh, another worksheet here let's say either chart or pi uh, if you click on move chart you'll get a little pop-up uh, you can move this object in to another worksheet which is already created I have three others chart 2 chart 1 pi uh, chart 1 chart 2 are not worksheets but they're actually full page charts which I covered in my last tutorial or if you want you can create a brand new sheet and give it a name let's say call it graph right? let's just leave it at that I'll just leave it here next we're gonna go all the way to the left hand side where we have chart layouts uh, I'm skipping over at chart element because I'll cover this in the next tutorial uh, chart layout gives you 10 predefined chart layouts that comes with Excel 2013. Uh, if you hover over them, you can see what your chart will look like. These are all predefined. So let's say this one here uh, gets rid of all the grid lines and gives you the, the data for each of these columns. Uh, this one, pretty much, I think this is the basic one. Now there's some spaces in between the uh, between the columns, or, or as opposed to the, the basic one, which has nothing. And you can hover over all of these. This one has a, a little uh, data chart within the chart. Uh, this is good for printing if you want to print this and give this out to people. And there are, you, you get 10 basic ones. Uh, you may or may not ever use these. The next option we have is the change color. You can change the color palette. By default, it's always going to be these top little Microsoft colors. Uh, if you scroll down, there's a lot of them, including just all single colored or uh, you can go through the different color options. If you hover your mouse over these options, it'll give you uh, a preview of what everything looks like. You have the monochromatic versions here. Grayscale right here, right? Pretty cool, right? The next option is the one in the middle here. You have chart style. There's 11 of them. Uh, these are predefined chart styles that comes with uh, Office uh, Excel 2013. Uh, if you hover your mouse over them, again, you can see what these look like. These are, these look pretty cool. If you hover your mouse over them, these look professional. These, that's why they included them here. 
like this one this one looks really cool uh, believe it or not you can actually do this manually here's a an inverted one pretty much there you go that's the design tab uh, the next we'll cover the format tab in the next tutorial uh, if you have any questions about the design tab feel free to ask uh, Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and please visit easyprogramming.net.